Well, I've raised it up off the trailer and moved the trailer out because the weight of the boat itself was causing the stringers to snap. I guess snow load over the winters and everything else. And then up here, these, these two pieces I just ripped off. They were so loose. So I'm going to have to come up with a new way to install those. And then it seems like every one of them is cracked, or just about. But the good news, I guess, is that once I got it up on the ropes, the bottom does seem to have gotten rid of the convex? Concave, concave, yeah. Concave. It's still not perfectly smooth, but it's not too bad. I think it's good enough for what it is. Oh, man, he, <laughs> look at these little screws. I think my friend mis misread the um, instructions. It said one screw every 12 inches. It looks like he went every, what, inch? <laughs> I, I don't know what happened there. Way, way. I mean, I remember the first time I saw this boat, what, about five years ago, I said, holy cow, look at all these screws he's got holding, just have, holding the, uh, the side, top sides to the, the hull. Amazing. So probably out of screws now for anything else that needs to go on. <laughs> now I'm just debating on, oh, here's another one. It's almost completely, I think what I'll do is take a chisel. I can feel all these are, are good. Just take a chisel to them and pop them up because if they're loose, they're no good. I don't know. I'll see how it looks in a couple hours, I guess. Later. Ah, the best tools for the first step in restoration of this old leeward. Well, I have to remind, be reminded of the old, um, oh, what is that, that thing? Give a mouse a cookie. Once I pulled off one of these stringers, here's what I ended up with. <laughs> All but, what, too long and too short came up easy and even most of the centerboard is coming out. I think I'll pull out the centerboard casing anyway and redesign it because I want to I don't want to put the metal heavy metal um, centerboard back in because it's well it doesn't really need it with this flat bottom boat. But I've noticed that I definitely need um, stringers in here. The the bottom is so soft. I mean, it flexes at every little movement. So this was a couple hours squatting <laughs> to get all that out. I'm not sure if I want to re remove these last ones. They seem to be in pretty done pretty well, but there are other issues. Like I noticed the um, chain plate. coming apart and also the bow some somehow this doesn't doesn't actually come together end up with a big gap so I'm not sure how I'm going to proceed with this I talked to the former owner and I looked at the directions and it says these are supposed to be taped together with maybe an eighth inch and then put some cloth on the inside. But then I'll have, you know, a good inch off of this bow. And if that bumps anything, it'll just crack up and be problems. So anyway, I've pulled off the trim. And then I was looking at this, trying to think maybe what I'll do is I'll glass top sides to deck or the shoebox part and then rebuild this with a, um, a stern or stem a stem a wooden stem to help um, lay up the glass and give it some more strength but I have to put it all on hold we have visitors coming for a while and have to do the entertainment bit